Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. And if we could hit 500 likes on today's episode, that'd be absolutely amazing. But either way, here we are in Celadon City because today we need to go ahead and take on the fourth gym leader of the Kanto region being Erika, so that should be pretty exciting. But either way, I did do a little bit of leveling up off screen, and we also have a new team member. So I saw a lot of comments, a lot, a lot of requests to add Shadow the Gengar to the team. And this is probably because we had so many good TMs for it. Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and I was like, you know what? Why not? So now we got Shadow here, amazing moveset. I mean, it sucks that Shadow Ball's a physical move in this game, because, you know, physical special split and all that. But you know what? We can deal, of course, this moveset. Pretty decent. I'll take it. Uh, so unfortunately, we did have to put Linus the Minin in the PC. So until a later time, it's gonna be sitting there. But of course, we also have Hat the Cacturn here, Absorb, Poison Sting, Leech Seed, and Shadow Punch. Then we have Calypso the Milotic here with Water Pulse, Psychic, Wrap, and Milk Drink. Thighs, the Hariyama with Skyper Cut, Vital Throw, Fly, and Fake Out. Lips, the Magby here with Fire Punch, Cut, Smog, and Psychic. And Statue, the Rhyhorn with Stomp, Tail Whip, Horn Attack, and Fury Attack. So that's what we got going on with the team right now. Honestly, pretty solid. So let's just make our way down here to the gym and start, start taking these trainers out. Because from what I remember, there's actually a pretty decent amount of trainers in Erica's gym. I don't think you have to take on all of them. Yeah, no, I actually know you don't have to take on all of them, but I think whatever path you choose, you have to take on like at least two or three, so I don't know, we'll see. So it's actually been a little bit since I've recorded an episode of Fire Red. You guys have probably been noticing that. I've seen some comments on the newest episodes like, where's the episode for today? People have been tweeting me, where's the video? Well, let me explain. On Friday, actually, or Thursday, actually, uh, I had college orientation, so I did that for uh, Thursday night into Friday morning, so I was away, and then Friday when I got back, I was super tired. Saturday, I was busy, so I just couldn't make videos, and now we're here on Sunday, so it's a nice little Sunday. Hope y'all are enjoying your, enjoying your day today. I don't know. It's pretty, fr oh my god. It's pretty hot here in Michigan. The weather has been all over the place, but if you're in the Midwest, or especially if you're in Michigan, you, it's like that all the time. You're probably pretty used to it. Like, you can look at the weather wrong. You can sneeze, and the weather can change, basically. Oh my god. Chill. Jeez. All right, so that's what happens when I try to talk and tell stories and play at the same time. It just doesn't work at all. All right, but thank God we didn't lose Gengar. If we lost Gengar on the first Pokemon, first battle of the first episode where we got it, I would just, I would probably cry. I would have to cry on screen. That would be so awful. Oh, welcome. I was getting bored. Oh, well. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say about that. Wait, I... That's actually a really good point. So if she gets bored, is she allowed to leave the gym or are gym trainers, like is this their job? Do they have to stay here? I have no idea. If you're bored, like you should be able to go. That seems a little concerning, honestly, <laughs> okay. Marsh Stomp, uh, let's go to Hat. Oh yeah, we got, we got so much more type diversity with Gengar now. We got poison type moves, we got, well obviously we had poison sting before, we got, uh, what's it called? Uh, Sludge Bomb, we got poison moves with, no. Psychic, excuse me. We just got a lot more diversity, not adding on to all, like, already what we had. It's not the point I'm trying to make. Whatever. Vampy, here we go. See, now, that was a clear hiccup in my recording cycle. Like, you can tell that I haven't recorded a video in two days. I'm probably just gonna be all, like, all over the place, but, I mean, that's not really anything too far out of the open. I'm usually pretty crazy during episodes, that's all right. Welcome to Celadon Gym. You, so if we took the right or the left route, it would only been two trainers. That's what we should have done. Oh well. And of course, this trainer has five Pokemon. If we lose to this one, I'm going to be so upset. Or lose a Mon to this trainer. Because technically, we did not have to take on this trainer at all. What do I do? Um, Lips? I don't know. Just Can I hit a move? No? Come on. Like, I'll take the burn. Thank you! Double team is so annoying. I hate that. You just have to speed up and spam A and just hope. That's all you can do. Alright, let's get out of here, thighs. Let's go for that clean sky uppercut. Like, there's not really a point in going for fake out. I'm really now realizing that because most of the time sky uppercut's just gonna kill or like, the fake out damage is not gonna matter. So if any other good move comes along, I think we're gonna get rid of fake out. I think it's about that time. What's we'll enough statue? 
There's another Venomoth. All right, sure. I'm not about to die to it though. We are healing. I am not risking any more like max roll, crit potential deaths. Hell no, we are playing it safe, especially in a gym. There we go, Nido Queen. I guess Calypso is probably the best bet. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're good, we are fine. So, okay, after we beat Erica, this is kind of where I get, not lost, but I just forget exactly where we need to go next. So, obviously the next gym leader would be, it's Koga, right? Is it Koga, Sabrina? Oh, they don't even tell you. I think it's Erica, it's either Sabrina, Koga, whatever. I think it could do it any order anyways. So it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll probably end up going to Saffron. Oh no, we need to do uh, the Lavender Town thing. That's what we need to do. So we need to get the Pokey Flute so we can wake up the Snorlax and then go to Fuchsia. And then we need to get the Sylph Scope so we can go in, uh, into Sylph Co. Right? No, not Sylph Co. We need to get the Sylph Scope. <laughs> this part of the game is so confusing. We need to go into the bottom of the game corner. Ah. Uh, there's so much stuff you gotta do. I just keep forgetting the order. I don't know, I'm sure we'll get through it. Like I said, I don't really think the order matters too much as long as you do it all. Like, obviously I don't wanna jump into fighting Koga before our Pokemon are like level 30 or something. That doesn't sound like a good idea at all, but I don't know. That makes it a little easier for me. I don't have to stress about, oh my God, what do I do first? What do I do first? Uh, but I think actually since we're in Celadon, after this we'll just go do the game corner. That seems a lot more logical than anything else because then after we can go to lavender and then we'll start we'll start knocking those little things out all right would you like to cut the tree yes i would because here we are right in front of erica she got her posse with her too like these are our home girls they're her bottom chicks all right let's see what do we got um who should we lead off with that's the real question uh shadow i don't know if it really matters so let's do it all right, hello, a lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flowering arranging, okay? Or flower arranging, excuse me. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. All right, Erica, let's see if that's the actual case here or not. Come on. I love the music in this game. It's so, so epic, it fits perfectly. 32. Okay, um, this is a physical move. I'm gonna try this out. I was grinding this shadow up, or I was grinding Gengar up against Ledians in the wild, and I was going for Shadow Ball, and it was doing a lot to those, so that's why I figured it'd just be the best thing to do there. Of course. Of course he gets smart. All right, well. I do have Fly on thighs. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, it's just now sinking in. Why do I have it? I think I just needed to teach it to something, and I was like, you know what? Might as well. All right, you know what? I'm going to stay in and just go for uh, Shadow Ball here. The reason why I didn't want to is because it's not going to kill, and then it's going to heal. Eh. Or she's going to heal, excuse me. Uh, all right, we should be fine, though. Because if the Reflect wears off decently soon, I think we're good. I'd also rather the Reflect wear off while this Ledian's still out on the battlefield, that way it can't renew one. Like, before it dies or something, I don't know. Light screen. Okay, that's annoying now. Of course he has to have both... Wait, do I Brick Break? No, I don't. Dang it! You can normally get the Brick Break TM um, in the SSN. And come to think of it, I don't even think I got the TM in the SSN, so maybe it could have been Brick Break. Who knows? Maybe it could have been. But there we go, alright. Who's up next? I know she's got three Pokemon. Squirtle. How fitting, it's Squirtle Community Day in Pokemon Go. Look at that. Go get yourself a Squirtle today. Squirtles are appearing more in the wild. They also have cool glasses on. Well, actually, the glasses could have been a lot cooler. They could have been like tiny sunglasses or like the Squirtle Squad sunglasses, but nope. They're just like, he's just like wearing Ray-Bans. Like, why is this Squirtle wearing aviators? It makes no sense. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's hit him with this absorb. It's gonna be annoying with that uh, that light screen up. Oh my god. All right, you know what? Since that's the case, I'm speeding up. I'm gonna set up all of my nonsense. I'm gonna go for Leech Seed. I'm poison stinging. I'm gonna get the poison. It's gonna be great. And then uh, we're just gonna sit here. Wow, I guess I can't. There we go. So now I don't have to speed up anymore. Look at this.
Oh my gosh, really? A full heal. I didn't even know that gym leaders have full heals this early in the game. We learned something new every day, I guess. All right, well, it's dead anyways with the leech seed, so. Does, wait, do full heals take you away from leech seed or did the leech seed miss and I just didn't see? I'm so confused right now. I'm really, really confused. All right, Hatch, shout out to level 28 though. Please learn a new grass type move. That's the only reason I want Hat to level up. It's like I got kind of excited just because I wanted to learn something better than Absorb. Because you guys are seeing how much Absorb is doing. It is, it is not the best grass type move in the game by any means. All right. Fake out, really dude? Really? Oh my God, dude, this Pokemon is so annoying. It's just not letting us attack it. I'm gonna speed up if it keeps going for detect. If it just keeps detect spamming. All right, we should be good. We did it. If we got the double detect there though, I would have been fury. Not really, it would have been, it would have just been interesting, but Gemini, adios. Look at that, level 28 again. So now I think we, need to, we gotta get Rhyhorn to 28. I don't know. I just like having my team level up like at the same pace. It's really, uh, it's really satisfying. There, that's the word. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, if it was Giga Train, I'd be really, really happy. But what is it gonna be? Come on. Outrage. Okay. I'll take Outrage. I know we also have Dragon Claw. Um, so you know what? I'll take that. All right, but like I said, I think the game corner is probably where we should go next just because we're already in the exact same city that it's in. Well, we gotta heal up first. We have to heal up. All right, let's go. So I don't think this Rocket Hideout is really that annoying. I'm pretty sure this is the one where you just gotta find like the car key. The card key, not the car key. <laughs> Uh, but then again, you also have to do that in Sylph Coast. You know what? That's not very specific at all. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Whoa, just take it easy, man. All right, Rattata. Oh yeah, and also someone told me that even though it doesn't say that the TMs are randomized in, you know, when you can buy uh, the TMs from the game corner, they actually are. So if we were to get coins, we could buy them and see what they were. Uh, so maybe we'll try that. I don't know. I just don't want to buy a bunch of coins and then have the TMs not be worth it. Um, we'll see. We'll definitely see about that one. We got a smoke ball. Unless we find like 50 nug out, uh, nug outs. I was going to say nuggets in this hideout, but it's a nug out. Just got to combine the words. Two words at once. Sounds like dugout in baseball. I guess that would kind of make sense, but whatever. All right, we'll try them through here. Yeah, this is where the little puzzle is. All right, our little floor tile puzzle. Why do all these trainers have like five Pokemon? It's so annoying. Just stop. Just stop having Pokemon. Okay, see, so you're gone. Trent really, really works against you. Like, I'm pretty sure that's obvious, but... All right, we got to stop trading up Shadow now. I want to get, um, I want to get Lips to evolve this episode. So you know what? We're just going to use Magni. Because a Magmar would be sick to have. Like, it's always nice to have a fire type on your team. And as great of a Pokemon as Magby is, I would love to push it to, like, you know, as good of a Pokemon as it can be. So, you know what? Let's pimp it out. Let's get this thing up to a Magmar. And then we can start training Rhyhorn. It's just a little annoying training Rhyhorn because its moveset really isn't that great. I mean, it's got four normal moves. I don't know what you, what you want me to do with it. <laughs> All right, let's go, uh, this item. I don't know. Endeavor that could be Interesting. I don't know if I had a Pokemon was sturdy But sturdy doesn't even work like that in this game. So I don't know man. I have no idea what we would do Probably gonna end up selling Endeavor Just gonna put money on that one right now. Not sure if it's 100% true. Maybe we'll keep it Got a PP up definitely selling that though. That is easy cash I'm not sure if you're required to fight all the trainers in here um, because I don't remember exactly which one gives you the card keys, so you know what? I'm just going to fight all of them. I don't think it's going to really hurt. I'm not really too scared about losing a Pokemon against them. They are level 22 now that I'm thinking about it. Like, 
I don't know if I should really be that terrified. Who knows? That's when you probably should be the most, uh, most terrified. Why did you come here? I honestly have no idea. I honestly, I, I don't know. I feel like I have to be here, but I, I, I don't want to. It's really funny that people are like, you should leave. And I'm like, yeah, I want to, but I can't. Like, I have to do this. This is required for me to continue. Seal. Oh, no, 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 no. What was I thinking? It's a water type. Oh, no, no, no. That could have been... That could have been no bueno right there. Thank God he choked and went for Icy Wind. Because that could have absolutely been no bueno. All right. We got to heal this thing up. It's almost there. It's so close to level 30. The last thing I want is it for to die right there. Because that's the most depressing thing ever. It's happened to me before where I've lost a Pokemon like one or two levels away from evolving. It's heartbreaking. It really is. I can assure you that. All right. Um, I want to grab that item though. Totally forgot it was even there. I think it's a TM too. Please be a TM. It's definitely, definitely not a TM. All right. But we double checked at least. Perfect. Uh, I know there's an item over here. The music in here is annoying when it, it's like raising in dynamics and that uh, little screech comes in. Pierces my ear. All right, max elixir. I'll take that. That's actually really solid. All right, so now we're good on this floor, I think? I don't know. I got to figure out how to make it out of here first. Dude, it's so easy to mess up and like accidentally go to the end of the puzzle. But when you're actually trying to get out, it gets a little confusing. All right, there you go. There you go. Boom. Boom. Do I have to fight you? No? Okay. Well, I think I go down here then. Yeah. Okay. It's over here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because there's another puzzle. See, I remembered that. All right, let's work this out. Let's grab that silk scarf. That's not bad. We could give it to Rhyhorn. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Screw it. Yeah, the four normal type moves. Yo, what you got for a well-played Rhyhorn? What you got for a well-played Silk Scarf Horn attacking Rhyhorn? That's the real question. Is this the card key? It's a guard spec. It's not gonna help. Is this the card key? Dude, what the, I keep thinking all these items are the card key. This dude has it, all right. It's the lift key, not even the card key. Interesting. All right, well you can catch a water pulse. Venonat. Are we getting level 30? Is that it? I think it's level 30 for the evolution. I didn't double check before the episode and I probably should have. But my gut is telling me 30. Thank God. What? Lips is evolving? Oh yeah he is. Now he's gonna have some actual peckers, some actual lips. Yeah, all right. Come on, chop chop buddy. Look at that. I've had, I don't think I've used a Magmar in a playthrough before. Well, at least in a generation where like Magmar is the final evolution. Like I think I've used a Magmar when I've been trying to get a Mag or a Magmar when I'm trying to get a Magmar or somewhere in between. But hmm, I think this is the first time where I'm using a Magmar in like a in a game under uh, generation four. I think. Interesting. All right. Well, now we got the card key, so let's go finish it up over here. Yeah, we gotta grab that. Uh. What do you grab here? The is it the silk scope? I don't know. I'm just gonna stop talking. We're just gonna continue on through here. <laughs> the more I guess about like what's coming in the storyline, just I feel like it's just gonna get awful. You guys are gonna be like, what game are you talking about? <laughs> it also doesn't help that I can't pronounce like half of the words that I'm saying. All right, there we are. So I believe we're just right here. And do I need to heal? It's the real question. Honestly, if we wanted to bring uh, Minin back to the team, we just got that magnet, so it would boost the power of Thunderbolt. That's actually solid. Of course, the episode we replace Minin, we get the move that boosts it. That's that's just our sheer luck, isn't it? All right, but here's this floor. Your B4F, you know, my favorite. And why Everstone? Why would I need an Everstone? How can you not see the beauty of our evil? I, that's such a weird question. It's so, okay. I don't know, sorry, dude. Oh, I should swap. I should not let my Magmar die the first battle and it evolves. You're gone. All right, we gotta use someone else. Let's try statue out. I know you, you ruined our plans at Mount Moon. I think it's funny. So you can actually like find 
grunts that you faced early on in the game. Which is actually really, really interesting to me. I like that. Alright, get out of here, Chansey. Like, I knew that Stomp was gonna do a hell of a lot. Chansey cannot take any defensive hits. Nah, I am sorry. I think it's because, like, if you do a physical hit to the Chansey, you're, like, you're punching it in, like, the stomach, let's say, and you break the egg. And, like, if you break the egg, you know, that's bad for the Chansey. You would assume so, at least. I don't know. But when it's a special move, maybe... Uh, <laughs> I'm just pr I'm trying to add logic to Pokemon logic, and that's something you should never do. All right, get out of here. As much as I love Yanma, I just had to get rid of it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm really sorry. You know what? Hold on. The risky trainer in me is deciding to lay low for a little bit, and let's just go ahead and give the paralyzed heal. Or do I have one? Oh my god, are you serious? I don't have a... I don't have a paralyzed heal. Well, do I have a cherry berry? No. Good to know. So, I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world and they're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For our insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Or for your insolence. Oh, boy. All right, sir. Camera ups? I got an answer for you. And it's got, it's a water pulse. It's just a water pulse. And it's got your name written all over it. Let's go, buddy. I've always wondered what the three circles on camera up side represent. Like, are, they, are they just like a random design choice? I feel like it's such a random design choice that it would make sense for them to represent something. And maybe they do, I just don't know what they represent. And I would love to know. So hey, if you're a, if you're a camera up expert, all right, if that's on your resume anywhere, feel free to let me know. Or feel free to hypothesize what it means. I don't know, I'd love to hear, love to hear some fan theories. That's what, uh, that's what people love nowadays. They love fan theories. So you know what? There you go. All right, Mars Stomp, that should kill. No, it's an Absorb. Why would it kill? Absorb is not a good mood. I have to like embed that in my head. It doesn't matter if it's eight times effective, not even four. It's not gonna kill, ever. Uh, all right, adios. And another Macargo. I feel like we've seen this Pokemon a lot in this playthrough. I'm not complaining by any means. Like, it is Nexus's favorite Pokemon, obviously, so... I'm gonna let him keep that one. But it also does break my heart that... In this game, Nexus had a Macargo, and now he doesn't have one anymore. Of course! The one time! It just works out perfectly, the game has to be like, Sorry, dude. Of course, we gotta randomize it every single time. Uh, Alright, well... I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost of care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside uh, this time. I hope we meet again. Oh, baby. And there we go, we got the Silph Scope. So I was right, I was right, the Silph Scope was here. However, I just mispronounced Silph Scope like 80 times. All right, so B1F, there we go, I think that's it. Of course. After we beat Giovanni, what is, why doesn't this dude leave? Just, you can go home, like, you can clock out, bro. You can leave, it's okay. <laughs> There we go. I think that... It's not the last one! Go home! They're working overtime, and they don't care. I mean, I applaud that. Giovanni's got some good employees, honestly. Uh, stomp. Give it a fury attack. Well, we finally have a rock move, so that's great. I will take that any day of the week. We really need that stab, actually. Helps out with not having four normal type moves. All right, well, that went actually pretty decent. Wasn't the hardest, you know, rocket puzzle to get through. It was just hard thinking about it at first. And that's sometimes the first part of the battle. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. Next time, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing. I think we're making our way to Lavender Town, uh, doing the stuff with Mr. Fuji, getting the Poke Flute. Um... Waking up the Snorlax, I have no idea. Should be fun though. I'll catch you guys, then peace out.